I'm going to make this short. So what I'm going to do, I've already compared the noise and signal level um, on, between the NFED and the dipole, the inverted V up in a tree. Um, I've already done that in a video. What I'd like to do now is just real quick, not really, not really do a signal comparison because that's neither here nor there. I've literally sat here and listened during QSB as the signals go way down and come way up. Where the two antennas trade places back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. You know, so that's neither here nor there. Uh, you'll hear lots of signals. You'll work lots of signals on both antennas. I don't care what the power level, you know, so that's neither here nor there. My interest here is to show relative noise level between um, the 40 meter end pad and my vertical on 40, I'm sorry, on 20, 15, and 10 meters. But let's start here on 40 with an SWR comparison. <clears throat> right now it's set to the end fed. Antenna 2 is the end fed. Antenna 3 is the inverted V. So let me take a little quick listen. Nothing heard. Okay, end fed SWR. 1.1 1 .1 to 1. I've got the side tone turned off. I turned it back on. Let's switch to the inverted V. Flat. Both very uh, similar. <clears throat> Switch back to the unfed. <clears throat> Listen to the noise. Let me find the. That's the unfed. That's the dipole. Unfed. Dipole. I'm going to pause you. Okay, on 20 meters. Antenna 2 is the end fed. SWR is 1.2 to 1. On the vertical, SWR is flat. One moment. And as I do this, sometimes you'll know you may notice that the IPO setting changes. I just need to keep something registering on the S meter, right? So, anyway, um, noise level. Um, end fed. Noise level, vertical. That's the vertical. That's the end fed. Just a little lower on the end fed right now, but that changes again. That changes. Let's uh, I'll go back to the vertical. S2, S3, end fed. S1, S2. One moment. SWR comparison. End fed. 1.2. Did I already do this? Vertical? Flat? Yeah, I guess I already did that. Let's take a look at the uh, other end of the band on the uh, end fed. Hang on. Okay, we're back on the end fed. SWR 1.2. Opposite end of the band. Let's go right to the uh, top. There's nobody there. I think. Okay. SWR. 1.65-ish. Let's check 15 meters. 15 meters. SWR comparison. We're on the vertical. <coughs> Excuse me. 1.1 1 .1 to 1. End fed. 1.1 1 .1 to 1. Check the noise. I'm going to switch back to the vertical. 
vertical S3 and pet S5 <clears throat> there's the electrical grinder coming through And fed S6. I'll call it an S6. Vertical S3. And fed S6. So there you go. Hang on. Okay. We're on 10 meters. Keep in mind that uh, I'm changing the um, the taps. The, I'm changing the con tap connection on the on an off camera between each tester. Okay, so we're on 10 meters. Uh, let's start with an SWR comparison. This is the vertical. My vertical is a little high right now, 1.7 to 1. I need to tweak it a tad. Yeah, the vertical is resonating way low right now, oddly. Anyway, we got <clears throat> no matter. SWR on the vertical, 1.7. SWR on the end fed, about the same. <clears throat> the way it's set up right now, the end fed actually is resonant at 29.0. So this isn't too bad, you know, a full megahertz below that, 1.6 uh, to 1, 1.7 to 1. Let's compare the noise. Hang on. Vertical again. S3, S4. Right in there, right? S3, S4. And bed. About the same. Maybe a tad bit higher. <clears throat> About the same. S4, vertical is S3, yeah, we're looking, you know, an S unit higher noise on the end fed. S4, and the vertical is S3. Yeah, let's call it an S unit higher noise level on the uh, end fed, typical. <clears throat> it's pretty much what I'm finding, so there you go. No signal level comparison. Hey, I'm not going to find one on 10 meters or 15 today for that matter. Even though the band's probably raging wide open, put CBers on 15 meters and they're going to work all kinds of DX every day. And you think I'm kidding? Get a CB and listen. You'd be surprised. Hams. You should be ashamed of yourself. Hams. Um, so there you go. That's the test. SWR comparison. Noise level comparison. Of a 40 meter and fed half wave garbage pick wire <laughs> antenna ranging in height sloping from 6 feet to six, 16 feet with an FT12043 core. 73. So, yet one more uh, little uh, thing here. I thought I'd uh, show that. With the 150 PF shunt cap, now we can operate 10 meters, and that's why I would include it. If it weren't for 10 meters, uh, there's not a whole lot of difference. Uh, use it if you wish. Don't if you wish. It'll work great either way with a multi-tap on it. Uh, but on 10 meters, it looked like the standing wave ratio was a little higher than some might like. So we're at the very bottom of the band. And I'm on the 9 to 1 tap right now, using the 40 meter long wire, okay? And the standing way, I've already swept the band, it's dead, so don't get on me. <laughs> well, do if you want, but standing wave ratio was, a, it was, I think, 1.7? Yeah, 1.7. I've got the side tone turned off. 1.7 at the bottom of the band. What if I want to operate... On the QRP watering hole, no change. Well, it's down to uh, 1.55, 1 1.6. That's fine. 
This transceiver will operate full power into that standing wave ratio without the tuner. Uh, I detest tuners. They're, they're wonderful if you, I mean, they'll get you by if you can't any other way. But I can some other way, and this is how <laughs> I'll shut up. Let's, what if, see, I'm a CW op. What if you want to operate phone? Let's uh, go to the bottom of the phone portion of the band. See what the standing wave ratio is now. Yeah, see, that's more like it. If you, uh, if you want to wind this multi-core on them, and you do include the 150 PF shunt cap, and operate 10 meters, you can see that the standing wave ratio is awesome. That's at uh, 28,300. Hang on. Go up to 28,450-ish. See what the standing wave ratio is now. Yeah, 1 1.3, 1 1.2, 1 1.25, something like that, whatever. Excellent. So, there you go. If you have the shunt cap, 10 meters is very usable. Very usable. Even, uh, you know, even if, in my case, I'm a CW op, I'm a QRP -er. If I want to operate QRP, I can. Do I need the internal tuner? Nope, not at all. Just wanted to add that. 73.